And before this video starts, guys, we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime SynapseX keys. Now, SynapseX is one of the best paid executors out there. So if you do want a chance to win, of course, just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our Discord server. Once you do join the Discord server, head over to the verified channel. Once you're into the verified channel, go ahead and click on this button right here, which says click to verify, and that will give you the verified role. Then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here. Now, of course, if you're subscribed to the channel, you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here. But if you do want to increase your chances of winning, then you can boost the server. So if you do have Nitro, you can simply boost the server. And of course, you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well. So good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway. Now, let's get back into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at a B-Swarm simulator script for Roblox. Now, this script has many, many different features, including auto farm. So you can leave the script on overnight and you will have a ton of honey and a ton of po uh, pollen grinded overnight. Okay, so there's a lot of benefits to the script. I will go through everything. So make sure you watch the video to the end. Um, now, this is one of the most popular scripts for this game currently. So I would definitely recommend taking advantage of it and using it to the most that you can um so of course you would need an executor for this if you don't already have an executor you can grab one from the description below there will be a playlist with all of the executors i have previously made videos on um so once you do inject into the game you will execute the script that you will find in the description once you do execute the script the menu will look something like this it will start loading the functions and it will take a couple of seconds as you can see to pretty much load everything in now i'm not a premium user if you do get premium you do get a couple more options that you can see over here so there's a bit more auto farming options auto jelly and things like that okay so i don't really play this game a lot um so you know i will pretty much show you everything there is to know uh, but if you do play the game then you will understand more about these features than i do okay so you've also got auto nectar um auto dis or disconnect notifications honey updates a lot of things uh, and of course with the premium if you do go for the premium i believe that might be paid so if i do click on buy um that will take me to a different website and i will be able to buy it or that will actually open up a new game as you can see and this is where i can buy it okay uh so premium buy now and if i was to go click on buy now that will then take me to purchase this design right here and that will basically give you the premium version of this game uh, or sorry premium version of that script so you will get some exclusive features you get a server role and of course it will be i guess you will be like a beta tester so you will get updates more frequently okay so it will cost you 400 robux to get the premium features now if you're not looking to spend 400 robux i will go through the free features for you and those are still already broken i personally don't feel the need to go for premium i feel like the the actual free features are more than enough so let's get back into the game now and we'll jump into all of the features now all right here we go so we loaded back into the game we'll go ahead and execute the script once again just give it a couple of seconds to load up here there we go and this is the menu right here okay so this is the panel you will see a bunch of different mod panels right here or mod panels and you can see all of these sort of creatures i don't know what you would call them exactly because i haven't played the game but these are pretty much all ready so i can click on one of them and it will take me to that uh, and then it will teleport me back okay so you can also donate to them and everything but if you do go into the farming options something that we are interested in so this is my hive right here so you can see i'm you know kind of a new player right here i've only got two bees uh two basic bees uh but if i was to let's say choose a field let's go for the bamboo field and let's turn on auto farm and also auto dig um you can see my pollen is filled so it's pretty much trying to get the bees in there and start making the honey and as soon as uh, and this is i'm not doing anything right now and you can see it's pretty much doing everything on its own it's you know pretty much putting the honey back or it's creating the honey for me um i left this on for around half an hour and i made 150,000 worth of honey so you can see how kind of broken that is and once it does empty that out it will teleport me to the bamboo field that i've chosen and you can see how quickly it fills it up so and it instantly gets back it will wait for the bees to get back and then it will start feeding onto or it will start making the, the actual honey again and that is it literally took a couple of seconds to fill the bag up and get back to making the honey so you can see how broken that is uh, and then of course you've got auto sprinkler again i'm not familiar with all of these things because i don't actually play this game i don't play the bee swarm simulator 
but I'm sure you would know what all of these are. So you've got auto sprinkler, you've got farm bubbles, you've got farm flames, coconuts, showers, and a lot more. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, things that you can actually auto farm um, with with all of these uh, or with this script right here. Okay, so you've also got auto honey mask. Not a clue what that is. You can, you've got a bunch of menus or a bunch of options available right there that you can choose from. You can also, if you want to do daily quests or you're trying to achieve your actual quests that it's given you, then you can turn on auto accept confirm quests and do quests. Okay, and this will start focusing on those quests and possibly unlocking new things for you while you're AFK. Okay, so it will do all of the quests on its own. Uh, you can also teleport to rares. So I believe that would be like rare items uh, that you can pretty much get. Uh, while you're afk which is really really cool and there's a bunch of different farming auto options right here and if you were to go into combat again no clue what these are but these are the combat options right here so you can train your snail tra train your crab train your mondu this oh sorry kill that uh and then yeah so th these are these are the features right here for the actual combat right there um again no clue what these are Hopefully you guys that are trying to get the script are familiar with these more than I am. Uh, and you can see the auto farm going on in the background. It's getting a bunch of honey for us. Uh, I have, you know, just pretty much been here for about two, three minutes and it's already refilled twice. Okay, so that is a lot. And you can see the pollen going down. You can see the honey going up. And if I was to leave my computer on overnight, you can just imagine how much this would possibly make me. Uh, if you go into items, you can use all buffs, you can use the red extract, you can use the tropical drink, use blue extract, use glitter, use oil, and it goes on and on. Okay, so if I was to scroll down, okay, so these are all of the options. Okay, so you can also treat, so auto feed, if you want to auto feed all bees, you can select the amount of treats and click feed all bees. You can select which treat you want to give them. So if I do check on my items, I don't actually have, is this a tree? Okay, it is a tree. So if I select, which one is it? Blueberry. Okay, so let's go for blueberry. Let's go for one because I've only got three. So I'm going to make it equal and feed all bees. And I, the moment I click that, you can see that both of the bees were fed and they have leveled up. And I've got one remaining because I gave one to two bees, if that makes sense, right? So I've got one remaining. <laughs> Just quick maths right there. Uh, again, you've also got a few different options right here, so I'm not quite sure what these would do. You've got a huge list of things that you can choose from, uh, and you can also click... Oh, this is for donating. I'm not quite sure what that feature is. Uh, I don't know if this would be something you'd be interested in, but you can also donate your items. And let's go into MISC. So you can also teleport to different fields. So if you maybe want to just check out different fields, or you want to you know, maybe fight a boss or something... Uh, and you just want to teleport to a field you can also select that make sure you've got your auto farm off if you do have this on it will teleport you back to auto farming okay so if you do want to teleport to monsters or teleport to toys or fields then make sure you've got auto farm off and that way you will be able to then go ahead and teleport to these fields so let's give it a try let me go ahead and firstly turn off my auto farm let's go ahead and reset my character so it doesn't bug or anything like that and let's go ahead and try teleporting to the bamboo field. And you can see it's instant, literally instant. Whichever field I choose, whatever I choose, it's literally instant, as you can see. Uh, let's try teleporting to a monster. Uh, again, I have no clue what these monsters are meant to do. I don't know if they've spawned. Uh, I've chosen the ladybug and it has teleported me to the ladybug. I don't really have a weapon, I don't think. So I can't fight the ladybug. Uh, but at least we have traveled to it. And there's a huge spider. Okay, let's get out of there. Uh, and there's a rhino or it's a beetle um okay let's keep teleporting around and i've just died <laughs> because i don't really have much to fight with but you can pretty much see the point of the uh, actual thing and then again you can also teleport to toys no clue what what, what these are meant to be uh but yeah you can teleport to toys guys <laughs> congratulations there we go um oh this is a place i haven't seen before wait what was that Okay, so these okay, what what is going on in the in the distance right there? That looks pretty damn creepy. What is that? I don't know. Teleport to hive. So if you click this button, you basically teleport back to your hive. Uh, and yeah, that's basically your safe spot right there, which is pretty cool. Spawn coconut. Whoa, what was that? Oh, these are just visual effects. Okay. So I can spawn a bunch of different things. 
uh, as you can see right here and these are just ritual effects i believe so it doesn't really do anything but you can see it and that's pretty cool right flame walk again that is visual so it's under the visuals so these won't do anything uh it won't benefit you but you can look pretty cool with these i'm not sure if it's filter enabled um where other players can also see or if it's just local where only your yourself can see it but nevertheless it is a pretty cool thing right there you've also got the dark flame walk oh i think i like this flame better right here that looks pretty cool notification style so if you want to receive notifications you can choose a bunch of different styles right there so you can kind of look through those see what you like what you dislike uh text hello world for example i'm not quite sure what this would do let's give it a try subscribe oh i think i've turned on my auto <laughs> auto farm by pressing the u u key because the, every time i press u it turns on the auto form so i think i just turned it on by accident and i just typed subscribe and that is my text it, it did show up over there for a second and it disappeared so not quite sure what that would do but these are again the misc options and then you've got the settings so you can also turn on the auto auto farm walk speed so if you want the default value to be higher than 60 so it's currently 60 if i want it to travel at speed of 100 and let's turn on auto farm you can see it's pretty much being instant again i would just leave it at default you know it's still pretty quick let's try 200 let's see how fast it goes loop speed on auto farming don't walk in field and work hive balloon bro what what is going on here there's a bunch of different options that i'm not familiar with and it seems like the script has all of them you know just available to use for, for yourself don't farm tokens no clue what tokens are enable token blacklisting damn okay so you can also turn on blacklisting for you know if that is something that is useful to you you can turn on blacklisting that's 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 nice uh, i think i might have broken it no i haven't okay so there we go we pretty much traveled really fast back and yeah so we traveled back to the actual field and back home again now we're just waiting on the bees the bees seem to be slower than us uh, and, and they're back and we're currently grinding and you can see we're making honey again uh, field options you've got a bunch of different things right here so best blue field you can also choose best red field and best white field you can disable which list or which fields you don't want to go to you can also add your priority list right here teleport to NPCs uh, you can do NPC quests so you can choose all quests for example and then of course we are back to the premium options right there so if you do want to have the premium script available for yourself you can spend i think it was 400 robux or maybe 300 to get the premium script so all it asks you to do is buy like a t-shirt um and then of course the, the people that you're paying for the t-shirt would be the developers of this script so if you want to support them in any way then this would be a pretty nice way to sort of you know just show your appreciation by something that they're kind of offering to you and it would give you the premium features as well so once again these are the premium features i will go ahead and scroll through these so you can see um everything right here so this is something that would only be available to you if you were to purchase their accessories that said that, that they're selling uh and in return you would get the premium features unlocked now guys this would be the end of this uh, actual video if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always Thanks for watching.